we were discussing, you know, the Otani stuff over the last week, week and a half. And and Jeff Passan of ESPN actually reported today that what he's hearing when he talks to executives around the league or the teams that come up that are linked to Otani are the Rays, the Orioles, and the Blue Jays. So three teams in the AL East, three teams currently sitting at a playoff spot in the AL East. Um, no one knows if he's going to get flipped. But if he does get flipped, if they trade Otani, do you expect him to land in the American League East? Uh, I expect to be traded. You know, especially now that Mike Trout is is is, is injured, he's going to be out for some time, and they're kind of falling a little bit in the wild card race. If I were the Angels, I would see if I get the the absolute most for him. It doesn't matter if it's the the Dodgers, the Yankees, the Orioles, the Blue Jays. I'm getting the most I possibly can get for him right now, and then try to resign him. That's what I would do if I'm the Angels. Now, obviously, if you trade him, you never know what can happen. He may fall in love with the ball club uh, if traded. So uh, I expect him to be traded. Uh, I had heard, you know, the last month or so that the Blue Jays are in play for either trading him or possibly signing him as a free agent. Uh, So, you know, we knew going in facing the Blue Jays last night that they could flat out swing the bat. Mm -hmm. Uh, They know that even with Bo Bichette not starting, uh, you knew that, that they could swing the bat. So I expect the Blue Jays, who are in the thick of things, to make a run at it. And I expect the Orioles. You know, I thought the Orioles were a year away, but they have been young, exciting, playing great baseball. I expect them to be aggressive. Now, whether they go up, make a run at Otani, I don't know. But that, I expect them to be aggressive uh, to get a starter uh, or two to help and bolster that starting rotation because they could score runs. Uh, they're dynamic. So I expect the Orioles and the Blue Jays to be very aggressive as far as the trade department goes. Gary, obviously there's there's a club in L.A. not named the Angels that has very deep pockets and is known for stealing away marquee players from other baseball markets. Uh, no doubt the Dodgers would like to have Otani in their fold eventually, but do you think there would be an aversion by Artie Moreno, the owner uh, with the Anaheim Angels, to trade Otani to uh, the, the the crosstown rival, and you think maybe he'd rather just see him go off far east in another league where he doesn't have to be reminded of his presence uh, on the front page and on uh, on L.A. Twitter? I have the utmost re- respect for Artie Moreno, you know, what he's done in his life, how he acquired his wealth. A very intelligent man, and he has already been on record saying he will not trade Otani to the Dodgers. He made that public. Uh, I, I think, in my humble opinion, if I was him, I would exactly I would I would trade him to the Dodgers and get as many prospects as I possibly can, could. That's what I would do mm-hmm. because everybody's room. Everybody say the rumor is he's going to end up with the Dodgers. I don't know that. Nobody really knows. Uh, of course, me working with the Dodgers, I would absolutely love that. That would be great for the Dodgers. Be great for the fan base. Be great for baseball. But if I was him, you could kind of sell it to your fan base. Hey, if he's going to go to the Dodgers anyway. I just plucked five, six, seven incredible prospects because make no mistake about it, the Dodgers have the best farm system in all of baseball. Mm-hmm. If he's going to end up with the Dodgers anyway, why not pluck five, six, seven prospects from them? Uh, that That's what I would do. But, again, it's not my team, uh, and, and he could do whatever he wants. But, that, in my humble opinion, that's what I would do. I would try to get as much talent away from the Dodgers uh, as I could, if Otani's going to be leaving anyway. 